If you're planning a new FIFA 23 career mode, but are unsure of which team to use, then welcome to episode 2 of FIFA 23 Top Teams. The first team suggestion is the Bundesliga outfit Stuttgart, who recently had several new star heads added. They have a 21.5 million transfer budget, an authentic stadium, and play with a default 4-3-2 holding formation. My favourite players in a Stuttgart career mode are firstly out on loan in Season 1, striker Wahid Fagir, real face, potential of 80. Real face, box-to-box -box French midfielder Ahamada, who has a potential of 79, personally I think it should be higher. Another real face Frenchman is the wide midfielder Tangai Koulibaly, potential of 80. A long time favourite goalkeeper of mine in career mode is Florian Muller. He's now 24 years of age, real face and a potential of 80. And finally, help knock Brazil out of the World Cup with Croatia is the real face left back Borna Sosa, potential of 83. When looking for youth academy players in a Stuttgart career mode, I always scout in the country that I'm managing in, so that would obviously be Germany. And the other nation that I would scout on due to Stuttgart already having Endo and Ito would be Japan. Recommended career mode gems that I would add to my Stuttgart shortlist are firstly Andreas Schilderup from Nordisland, exciting prospect potential of 86 and should cost around 3.5 million. And I would also sign one of two Hertha Berlin centre-backs, the first of which real face Martin Dardai, 20 years of age, potential of 82 and would cost around 3 million. Or I would go for Linus Gekter, 18 years of age, potential of 82 and would be slightly cheaper at 2.5 million. But my first big signing for Stuttgart would be the Boca Juniors central defensive midfielder with a real face, exciting prospect Alan Barella and would cost around 15 million. However, if you prefer the Premier League, Brighton are a solid choice. Easily achievable board expectations, licensed stadium and a healthy transfer budget. Their default formation is a 4-2-3-1 wide and my favourite five Brighton players are firstly we've seen him in the World Cup with Ecuador, Moises Caicedo, central defensive midfielder, potential of 82. Also at the World Cup with Ghana is the real face right wing back Tariq Lamptey, 21 years of age, potential of 83. He's been excellent in helping to lead Argentina to the World Cup semi-final. Alexis McAllister, central midfielder, potential of 82. Also at the World Cup with Spain is Brighton's first choice goalkeeper, real face Robert Sanchez, potential of 82. And finally, a player I think Brighton will be very lucky to keep hold of in the January transfer window is a left midfielder also at the World Cup with Belgium, Leandro Trossard, potential of 80. When looking for youth academy players for a Brighton career mode, I suggest scouting in England and then considering they already have Estupan, they already have Sarmiento and Caicedo, I would also suggest scouting in Ecuador. Career mode gems I would add to my transfer shortlist for a Brighton career mode are firstly the real face Boca Juniors central midfielder Christian Medina, potential of 81 and should cost around 3.5 million. And then one of these two strikers, firstly the Canadian international from Lille Jonathan David, potential of 85 but would cost around 28 million. Or you could go for the Fiorentina real face striker Christian Kawame, potential of 80 it would only cost 3.5 million. However, my big signing for a Brighton career mode would be the Dutch international winger Noah Lang with a real face, potential of 84 and would cost around 23 million. The final team suggestion are one of the sleeping giants of La Liga, Valencia, whose iconic Mestalla Stadium is officially licensed and they have a huge transfer budget. Valencia's default formation is 4-1-4-1 and my favourite five members of their squad are firstly on loan from RB Leipzig with a decent generic face is Iliax Mariba, only 19 years of age, potential of 82. He was excellent for the USA at the World Cup, right midfielder Yunus Musa, also only 19 years of age, potential of 84. Spanish striker Hugo Duro, 22 years of age, potential of 83. Up next we have the Georgian goalkeeper Georgi Marmadashvili. He's 21 years of age, 6 foot 6 tall and has a potential of 84. And finally the evergreen Uruguayan international striker Edison Cavani. He'll have a couple of seasons before he retires, 35 years of age, potential of 81. When looking for youth academy players in a Valencia career mode, I would recommend scouting firstly in Spain and then any of the South American nations. 
Career mode gems I would look to add to my transfer hub shortlist when doing a Valencia career mode are firstly one for the future, Espanyol's teenage centre-back Simo. He has a potential of 85 and would only cost around 1.7 million. Colón de Santa Fe, striker for Kundo Farias, who's already moved in this career mode, 19 years of age, potential of 85 and would cost around 10 million. And finally, the real face FC Dallas wide player Alan Velasco, 19 years of age, potential of 85 and would cost around 16 million. So if you were thinking of starting a new FIFA 23 career mode but needed some team choice inspiration, then you are welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time. But until then, it's FCG out.